So thank you very much everyone for joining our remote trade show on uh, fridges and solar water pumps uh, hosted by the Global Distributors Collective and the Efficiency for Access Coalition. Uh, my name is Emma Collenbrander, I'm head of the GDC and very happy to have you all here today. So Izzy, can we go to the next slide? Let's take a look at the agenda for today. We're just going to take a couple of minutes to give you some context on today's trade show and what we hope that you'll take away from it. We will then hear short presentations from nine different manufacturers, six solar water pump companies and three fridge companies. And then we'll round all this off with a Q&A, all in an hour, very ambitious. So if you have questions, please send these through as we go via the chat box and whatever we don't have time to answer today, we're gonna collate and share with manufacturers to respond to in follow-up. Uh, so next slide. Why are we here today? Uh, we are seeing increasing interest from GDC members in selling appliances, particularly productive use appliances. Our 2019 State of Sector report found that about 22% of members already sell appliances, and we think that number today is more like 30%. Uh, but there is still an information gap. It's still hard for distributors to get reliable, neutral information about products that meet their needs. Uh, we get a lot of interest from manufacturers in connecting with our members, but it's hard for us to broker those connections. We don't want to overwhelm members with communication and we need to maintain neutrality and not promote or endorse particular products or suppliers. So we've struggled to, to bridge that gap. But today we're, we're starting to do that. We've teamed up with Efficiency for Access uh, to run this product roadshow. We're starting with solar water pumps and refrigerators, but if this format works, then we hope to offer this for other product categories as well. So I'm just gonna briefly hand over to Sarah Hambly from the uh, Efficiency for Access Coalition to give you a bit of an overview of what the coalition is. Um, so you can go to the next slide and Sarah, over to you. Thank you, Emma, um, and thanks for the invitation to um, co-host the webinar. Um, my name's Sarah Hambly. I, um, partnership and Communications Manager at Energy Saving Trust and uh, as part of that I work for Efficiency for Access. It's a global coalition working to promote high performing appliances that enable access to clean energy in the world's poorest countries. It's chaired by UK Aid and the IKEA Foundation consisting of uh, 15 donor roundtable members, 10 program partners and more than 30 investor network members and Efficiency for Access is um, coordinated jointly by CLASP and Energy Saving Trust. If you have any further questions about efficiency for access and what we do, we'd be delighted to take them either as questions at the end or by email. Thanks, Sarah. Uh, so next slide. The products on show today. Uh, we are really pleased to be joined by a stellar group of manufacturers. The world of appliances is big. There's a, a lot of manufacturers and products out there. So today's roadshow is not meant to be exhaustive, but what all of these manufacturers have in common is that they are all either finalists or winners of the Global Leap Awards. And the Leap Awards, which are implemented through the Efficiency for Access Coalition, identify the world's best, most energy efficient off-grid appliances. And so what that means is you know that the products that you're seeing today are some of the best on the market. As mentioned, we only have an hour, so the presentations will be very short, about four minutes each. The speakers can't cover everything in great depth, but they'll focus on details that are important to last mile distributors to help you make informed decisions about what products might work for you. Um, we hope that today is a starting point to uh, catalyze some useful conversations. So we'll be sharing contact details of manufacturers after the trade show, so you can get in touch with them directly to get more information. And then finally, today is also a chance for the speakers to hear from GDC members about what your priorities and needs are. Uh, so please do share your comments and questions in the chat box as we go. I think that is enough from me. So next slide, please. Without further ado, let's get started with our first product category, which is solar water pumps. And up first, we have uh, Jakob from Grundforce. So Jakob, over to you and my timer starts now. Okay, and thank you for giving us a chance to present our products here. Well, my name is Jakob Norman Olesen. I'm the Global Product Specialist for, for Grundfos. I've been uh, working with uh, solar pumping and, and control for more than 20 years. 
Cornforce itself is a private whole company established in 1945. And we have been working with uh, solar pumping uh, for 40 years. And uh, we are globally represented by our own companies in more than 60 countries. And on top of that, we have uh, distributors uh, in the rest of the world, more or less. So for SQFlex, oh, next slide. Thank you. Yeah, so for SQFlex, uh, which are here, it's an all-in-one uh, submersible solar pump. So it can be combined with uh, controls and remote monitoring also. So with the all-in-one uh, submersible pumps, we mean that uh, there's no setup as needed. It's simply to plug and pump. Uh, it has a wide voltage train and can be connected with additional solar energy. It is uh, direct compatible to, uh, to solar energy, wind energy and AC power without any uh, extra equipment as well. Universal connection, here we mean that uh, it is protected against uh, polarity mistakes. And it doesn't actually matter how you, you connect the plus and minus from the DC, from the solar panels, the pump will still run and the pump will run the right, right, right way around without destroying it. And of course, you can also go, just connect AC to the same uh, wiring. So we have also the dry run sensor uh, built in to the SQFlex. So here we are helping to protect the, the well from running dry, but it's also protecting the, the pump from being damaged from uh, dry running as well. The pump comes in, in different uh, designs. So we have a three inch and a four inch uh, versions, whereas it's uh, both positive displacement pumps and centrifugal pumps to, uh, to cover from uh, zero to 18 cubic meter an hour or up to a 250 meter head. So for, uh, for sizing and selecting the right pump uh, and the amount of solar panels, we have a free uh, software solution on our website. So you only need to fill out the, the location, amount of water per day required and the total head. Then you can actually do a, a solar sizing with it. And if you have a, uh, if you make a free, uh, login a free account with a then you can actually add your own solar panels and do the sizing as well uh, with those solar panels you are intending to use so for for prices and so on uh, i would actually just uh, offer you to to contact me or co contact our local sales companies and then you will be uh, directed with the prices for your for your location so that was uh, what I had, and I think I actually managed to go uh, below the four minutes. You did. Perfect, Jacob. Thank you so much. <laughs> so next up, we have uh, Brian from Future Pump. Over to you, Brian. Thank you very much, and uh, hello, everybody. Um, Future Pump, my name is Brian Marsh. I'm the sales director. Uh, Future Pump is um, about eight years old now, and uh, our um, mission when we set out was to design a pump that would replace the um, horrible smelly diesel and petrol pumps we see on so many small farms around Africa. Um, we are um, situated in the UK, our head office, but our manufacturing is in India. We have our own purpose-built factory based in uh, Gujarat and we also have another company in Kenya which does field testing both for us and for other companies. So we have um, two models in our range, as you can see from the little price list at the bottom. We've got the um, SE1 and the SF2. The SF2 is the larger of the two. It's um, designed to irrigate about one hectare of land. It produces um, up to 3,600 litres of water an hour from a shallow water source. Um, very much a surface pump, so um, different market to the Grunfoss pumps we've just heard about. Um, the uh, reason the SE1 came about, the smaller one, was really market demand. People were asking if, uh, if we could make a similar pump but make it a bit cheaper. And uh, so a lot of work was done by our R&D department and the SE1 came into being in January this year. It's exactly half the size of the SF2, pretty much half the weight, half the cost and um, half the performance. So that produces 1,800 litres of water every hour and is suitable for about half a hectare of, um, of irrigation. Um, the, the bottom one there is the SF2 irrigation kit. That's just an option that we produce for distributors. Some of our distributors, um, in order to avoid um, 
in, uh, duty, import duty into their countries have found that if they import something called an irrigation kit, um, they can get around paying duty or VAT or whatever. So we, we box up an irrigation kit with some pipe and some sprinklers and, um, and whatever else is required. We're very flexible when it comes to uh, how we sell our products. So our products um, on our price list, and I'm happy to share our prices with anybody who contacts me after this event. Um, you'll see that we sell the pumps as a pump only option. Um, so you can put your own panels on. And if you take the pump only, we provide a very um, neat um, connection box to help you connect panels. And um, then there's pump with panels, obviously, as the full thing. And then the uh, our third option is pump with remote monitoring. So our pumps are available with remote monitoring and um, Paygo integration as well. Uh, next slide, please. So um, we're very uh, proud of our product. It's very robust, it comes with five years warranty. Um, and we believe it's a, it's, a, it's a great product for the environment of the, um, of the African farm. Uh, but we're also very proud of the way we support our dealers. All of our dealers and distributors get training, they get support with marketing, sales support, they get demo kit. Um, we believe that their success is our success. So uh, we do a lot to, uh, to help our, um, our distributors be successful with, that, with this product. Every um, pump comes with its own spares kit and tool kit, and it's designed to be maintained by the farmer, by the user. So um, we, we show the distributor or train the distributor on how to train the farmer to maintain the pump. And in addition to that, we then train the distributor to how, how to support the warranty should something unfortunately break. Fortunately, it's a very robust product, which, um, which doesn't break very often. And um, I think my four minutes are up, so I'll leave it there. Thank you. Oh, Ryan, well done. Um, thank you very much. So next we have Tapan from Superstar Group. But you're on mute, Tapan, so you'll need to unmute. Hello, this is Tapan from Superstar Renewable Energy Limited. Uh, basically, this one is the sister concern of Superstar SSG Group. So right now we are working on the different types of solar product like the solar water pump, solar panel, LED and the other things. So in the last year, uh, we actually win the global leaf audit. So there are two products, all are the solar submersible pump. And uh, the interesting thing, uh, interesting thing is that if you saw the specification, uh, I saw that there is a, uh, one is the first model, this is SG GLSP04, which is the Hurricane motor. And uh, the energy, uh, the energy is the 1563 is the per day and the total volume of the per day is 14.5 uh, uh, cubic meter and uh, the one special thing is that uh, it actually work in the low radiation and the high radiation and uh, if it's the sunny day that time it also work and the working hour is all about uh, nine hours please go to the next slide so as a country ability, right now we are doing business in Bangladesh. Uh, we have 150 plus distributor and uh, we are thinking to explore our product to all over the world. Right now uh, we can uh, doing business, trying to doing business in Africa and the any Middle East country. And there is, I also mentioned the terms and conditions, which is the, which I shared already. So if anybody interested, please uh, communicate with me. And the other thing is we actually uh, giving the service and uh, uh, we are doing the after sales support and we also doing the marketing and the software pressure on how to, uh, how to monitoring this uh, in the remote area. Like anybody, this one is used for the in a remote area, you need to uh, monitoring these things. So how to monitoring and we also train up this overall these things. And uh, on the other hand, uh, we actually think the Another special reason is the energy efficient product. So that is end from my side. Fantastic, thank you, Tapan. Uh, next Welcome. up we have um, Karin from Enos, Switzerland. Thank you. So um, hello, uh, good morning from Switzerland. I am Karin, the CEO and co-owner of Enos. 
Uh, we are a Swiss-based company with long-time experiences in solar motor drive systems. Since 2016, we are on the market with the sunlight pump, a 0.5 HP surface solar water pump. With the sunlight pump, you get Swiss technology. This means long-lasting quality. The pumps are manufactured by our partner, Chain Irrigation Systems in India. Although small and handy, the pump is very powerful, very efficient, and covers a wide range of applications. Let me give you some facts. Total delivery head is 40 meters. You can pump more than two kilometers from source if needed. Maximum output is 22 liters per day in solar mode. If you need extended running hours, just switch to battery mode and then you can get the double water output. On demand, pay as you go solution is available. And you get the Ennos app for free to monitor the system. The sunlight pump has been designed for a long lifespan and that practically no maintenance is required. For example, the lifespan of the electric motor is more than 10 years, absolutely maintenance free. On our website, you will find cases for different applications and we offer complete solutions in combination with drip and sprinkler systems and also for drinking water. The sunlight pump is so powerful that you can irrigate up to 8,000 square meters with drip irrigation and it has also enough pressure also to be used with sprinkler systems. You can cover up to 2,000 square meter. Beginning of next year, we will be ready for the launch of the 2HP sunlight pump, also a surface pump which will, be pump, which will pump up to 200,000 liters per day then. Let's jump to the next slide. So far, we are active, especially in East and West Africa and Asia, and recently we also started our business in Latin America. Check our website. You will also see that our distributors get a platform to represent themselves there. Now I would like to explain how we ensure that quality of the pumps um, and which tools the distributor receives from us. We have a quality management, which means that all sunlight pumps go through rigorous quality and performance testing at the manufacturing site. Our engineers in Switzerland have access to those data as well. And so we make sure that only pumps with very good quality are being shipped to our customers. With the Enos app, you can connect by Bluetooth with the sunlight pump. You can read water output, energy consumption, and much more. And it will also indicate any errors in the system. So it's an excellent tool for monitoring and on-site problem solving. In the Enlos online customer center, distribution partners can easily open and track tickets in case of technical question or warranty case. And of course, when no corona is there, we also offering on-site on trainings. Our partners get exclusive access to library of marketing material, technical documents and tutorial videos on all aspects of the installation, use, repair and maintenance of the pump. It's very important to us to support our partners in many ways. In a personal online meeting, I will be happy to give a more detailed insight into our company and, ex and uh, I will explain what we in turn expect from the distributor. Please do not he hesitate to contact me. I look forward to your call. And now enjoy the next presentation. Thank you, Karen. Uh, next, we have Huck from Sun Culture. Hi, everyone. Thank you, first of all, for this opportunity. My name is Huck, and I'm Director of uh, Business Development at Sun Culture. Um, Sun Culture has been active. Oh, Huck, we're having trouble hearing you. You're cutting in and out a little bit. Do you want to just try switching off your video? Okay, Huck, we're having problems with your connection. So I think what we're going to do is move on to the next uh, presentation and then we'll come back to you and give you some time to, um, to maybe try a different connection. So with that, um, I'm going to pass over to Shen from Solatech. Okay. Hello, everyone. Uh, this is Shen Huimi from Solatech. Solatech is... Just a bit of lag with Hack's audio. Well, but I... Sorry. 
currently sell uh, directly in Kenya, and then we sell through distributors in Ethiopia, Uganda, and Togo. And at some point, so we look a little bit at holistic uh, pharma solutions. We're looking at that. Um, and as you see, we have two different All right, Chen, I think you're good to go. Okay. So hello, everyone. Yes. Uh, this is Chen Min from SolarCheck. SolarCheck is a Chinese company. We focus on the research and the development of solar pumping, water technology and the solutions, and manufacturer-related products. And it's great honor to introduce one of our products now to you, our PM solar pumps. This, so, this PM solar pumps equip high efficient brushless diesel motor. It requires less solar energy. Each set of solar pump contains an emotor and a pump. The emotor is IP52 uh, protection lever and three years warranty. The pump is stainless steel pump, one year warranty. Moreover, if the user leads, we could provide a box type to meet higher protection level and support upgrade of battery power supply. Uh, this PM solar pump supports support PV input anti-reverse connection and the full motor protections. It can integrate with water level sensor to prevent overflow and dry running. This solar pump can completely automatic running. It's suitable for small farm irrigation, domestic water supply, livestock drinking water, and artificial water skip. It has been successfully applied to a high altitude region over four kilometers and some other regions. Uh, next page, please. Okay. So uh, provide a uh, easier and more convenient solar products for user. We develop and release our new products this year, solar direct drive pump. In this solar pump, the water is built in the pump body. So user can directly uh, collect the solar panel to the pump. It's very easy for installation. And this solar direct drive pump use brightness Brushless diesel motor for high efficient. It supports soft star, anti reverse input protection, and the full motor protections. Each cage equips two water level sensors. One is in well for dry running protection, and another is in tank for overflow protection. It supports fully automatic running. The pump start up on sunrise and stop on sunset. It's especially suitable for smallholder families. That's all for today. If you are interested in our products, welcome to visit our website or send a mail to me for more information. Thank you. Thank you so much, Shen. So, Hack, we're gonna give you another go. <laughs> so, uh, Izzy, yep, if you could just go back to Hack slides, that would be great, thanks. Thank you. You can hear me clearly? Perfect. Perfect, great, yeah. yeah, sorry about that. So yeah, Hack from Sun Culture here. Um, and uh, here to jump back on, uh, we are a solar powered irrigation company and we are selling directly to B2C in Kenya and then through distributors in Ethiopia, Uganda and Togo. And we are very much looking into expanding with distributor into other countries across Africa and the world. Um, as at Sun Culture, we have a little bit of a holistic farmer solutions. We look at access to water, access to irrigation, but also household power. We have two different controllers with two different pumps. So to the left, we have the Climate Smart Direct, which is a non-battery. This is more for manual irrigation uh, and also for sunny weather irrig uh, sprinkler irrigation and just moving water from A to B. In the middle, we have the Climate Smart Battery, which, is, uh, uh, which also has a, a big uh, lithium ion battery uh, for early morning irrigation when evaporation is low. And then that also means you can irrigate during cl cloudy weather and you can also use a more powerful sprinklers uh, through both sunny and cloudy weather. It also comes with four uh, 600 lumens lights to USB R uh, connections and then optional 32 inch uh, TV as well to, to couple it with. 
Uh, third to the right, then you have the direct drip irrigation system, which we are, are quite very proud of, uh, which don't need a tank or a tank stand. It comes directly to the Climate Smart Battery unit. And that is kind of what we see complete in the circle of manual irrigation with Climate Smart Direct, sprinkler and continuous irrigation with Climate Smart Battery, and then the drip irrigation uh, added to that. Uh, all our products are Global Leap uh, finalists, as said, and we won two gold medals with two different controllers. Um, all our products are GSM PayGo enabled, uh, and we, it comes with a free gear uh, warranty. Uh, next slide, thank you. So here we have the, the China FOB prices. Uh, we can, of course, uh, manufacturing are in China, and, but all our development uh, is in Kenya. Uh, we can, of course, handle freight and logistics to, to your country as well. And we also have Kenya FOB since we have a, a, a warehouse in Kenya as well. Um, on the training, this is where we really, really um, uh, can uh, piggyback on our um, experience we have um, in, um, in Kenya. Uh, of course, we are doing an end-to-end -end solution. So we do sales, marketing, financing, I'm sorry. installation. Oh. Uh, then go installation of the sale uh, and pay-go management. So this is a lot of where we can give support to our distributors since we know how to do this at scale. Uh, so we have sales, marketing, installation, after sale manuals. We help with client selection process, process on feedback to do both sales, pay-go installation. We also have a Sentinel platform um, where you can upload your products, where you can lock and unlock them. Uh, and we are working on a monitoring, monitoring system uh, to that system as well, which will be available soon. Uh, and we also have API integration. So if you want to uh, um, integrate the system into your Pago management uh, uh, platform, that also is possible. Um, we, we do one to two week ground training, uh, uh, depending on, on the size of the product, but we have an international expansion team, which will come and do the on the ground training and, and go help you through the whole process. And we also do one to two week, uh, one to two retrainings per year to, to catch up uh, and, and really support our distributors throughout the whole process so they can scale up the sales. Um, I think that's it for me. So let me know if you have any question. I will post my email in the in the chat as well. Wonderful. Thank you, Huck. And we heard you perfectly that time. So <laughs> glad we could overcome those technical difficulties. So we're now on to the last uh, presenter for the solar water pump category, and that is Adrian from Lorenz. Hi, thank you very much. Um, so my name's Adrian Honey from Lorentz. Um, we're a solar water pump manufacturing company based in Germany. And we have a whole range of pumps from 100 watt systems right through to 100 kilowatt systems uh, serving the world. Um, today, I'd like to focus on a small PS2 100 system, which is really designed specifically for last mile distributors and for small farmers. So this is a, a submersible pump. It's super flexible. You can use it in a pond, a stream, or in a deep well. And you can pump the water for really any application. So it's got plenty of flow and pressure to be used for sprinkler irrigation, livestock, or drinking water. It's built with a really robust, reliable, and efficient product. So it's uh, designed very clearly to give the least problems possible to the distributor and really put up with the difficult life that um, products in productive use have to put up within these environments. So it's designed to be really robust and reliable. The product's super efficient, so it will deliver the most water possible for the amount of power you give it. And we design it really I hope you can still hear me there. I think everything just went off for a second. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what happened there, but hopefully everyone's come back in. Okay, no, not sure what happened. Yeah, so um, it's designed to be uh, easy to sell and support. So as you can see in the picture here, it's uh, a product all in one box. You've got there the, the pump in the bottom, the mini controller that's the brains of the product, and then a 15 meter um, cable already connected so the customer can connect this themselves it's very simple we work with a, a message which is pick it up plug it in and pump water so it's really ready to go no wiring you plug it in and you pump from any source so whether you 
throw it in a, a pond in the morning to pump water and then maybe take it back to the house and pump from a well in the evening. It's really flexible for the customer. And the next slide, please. So we'll talk a little bit about um, the capabilities of the, of the system. So you can see here with one 200 watt panel, we have three um, pump end variants. This allows you to pump either high volumes at low head or high um, head, so up to 40 meters head from below the surface of the ground, or uh, again, very high distances horizontally or high pressure applications for sprinklers or even water treatment the pump's used for as well. So per solar day, we see 28,000 liters real world performance on low heads. And you can see the three different versions of the pump end available here. The good news for LMDs is that you have very low inventory and you can serve a real wide set of applications with the same pump. The support that we give to our partners here is we, we have training at the moment. A lot of this is online, of course. We do do local training as well. And because Lawrence has a big distributor network around the world, our um, existing partners are also supporting some of the last mile distributors for smaller pumps. So we have a really good presence. We have a set of training materials, promotional materials that are like brochures that are customized for each LMD. And we have uh, lead generation programs and obviously all of the support you would expect from a, from a global company like us. 20 second warning, Adrian. Good. So um, we have a Paygo platform integration on all of the products and we also have apps and data connection. So you as a distributor can sp support the product very well and we can integrate with um, Angaza, with Pagey and Paygo Ops. More on the website available and I'll give you my contact details at the end. Thank you. Thank you very much, Adrian. Uh, next slide, please, Izzy. So we're now on to the second product category for today's Roadshow, which is fridges. And we have three fridge companies presenting today. Uh, so first up, we have Tusha from Devideal Solar Solutions. Tusha, over to you. Yeah, hi, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thanks for giving us the opportunity to present here. It means a lot to us, uh, especially during the COVID-19 pandemic where uh, marketing and meeting last mile distributors is being a challenge. So I really appreciate the GDC and efficiency for access giving us this opportunity. Um, like I said, uh, we are looking for distributors. This is an exciting time. Uh, uh, we have, uh, so who we are is uh, Davidale Solar Solutions. Uh, we focus on the design, manufacture, sale and distribution of solar DC refrigerators. We have four sizes, uh, the 100 liter, 150 liter, 200 liter, and 268 liter. Uh, we have a detailed catalog on uh, this refrigerator and that's at the website that you see at the bottom of your screen. Uh, we are also, uh, like some of the other companies uh, mentioned here, we are based in India and we are Global Leap Award uh, finalists. We're finalists in the medium refrigerator category uh, we have uh, we have been featured in the 2019 Buyer's Guide to Outstanding Off-Grid Refrigerators, and we use uh, we mostly uh, install and uh, promote our products in the productive use uh, segment, which is the income generating segment, uh, mostly to solve cold chain related issues, and our focus is on agriculture, dairy, and fishing. Uh, next slide, please. So here, um, uh, I've put up some photographs on this slide to give you an example of who our customers are and who all the LMDs last mile uh, customers would be. They're typically small micro enterprises, uh, small petty shops, like you see in the top left, that stock something uh, like a soft drink or beverage. Uh, in several cases, we've installed uh, freezers and refrigerators on trucks uh, with flexible solar panels mounted on the roof. Uh, this enables mobility and a micro cold chain. So this uh, truck has a capability of carrying about 800 kilos of frozen fruit pulp. Um, and then on the right, what you see is a sugarcane processor 
um, sugarcane processor. Uh, it's a juicing center where they store the juice. There's a mismatch in India. We have a weak grid, so there's a mismatch between um, uh, the availability of power and the demand for power. So uh, a 24-7 solar refrigerator, solar freezer uh, really comes in handy over here. Uh, we are also, like I mentioned, a global lead finalist and a winner of the Consumer Affordability Prize. Uh, our 100 liter global leap model uh, consumes only 0.329 kilowatt hours per 24 hours. Under lab conditions, that, that means um, you're consuming one unit every three days. Uh, we, we've built it uh, with the off-grid situation in mind. Uh, it's got a rugged construction. We use an environmentally compliant refrigerant. And because of the uh, high efficiency, uh, we've really kept the panel and battery component of it smaller and more affordable. Uh, seconds, Tisha. And uh, yeah, thank you. And uh, the last last two points were that we have a PAYGO model coming soon. And uh, we've worked with veterinary vaccines and we have uh, temperature data loggers and vaccine racks available with the existing product. Thanks so much. Thank you very much, Tisha. Uh, next, we have Jürgen from Global Ice Tech. Over to you, Jürgen. Hello, good morning to everybody. My name is Jürgen from Global Ice Tech uh, in Germany. Uh, we focus on off-grid and weak-grid refrigeration. And we have two models which are meant either for household appliances or for um, business use. You can see uh, a picture of uh, the fridge that we have. We really focused on designing the fridge uh, to work without a battery. Instead of a chemical battery, we have an ice storage system. And the reason we did that is because we wanted to make sure that at the end of the life cycle, we don't have any recycling problem. Plus, which is very important, I guess, for last mile distributors, um, we will not have any issues with batteries to be replaced during the lifetime. So we claim that if you keep your fridge clean, you do not really need to uh, maintain the fridge or exchange any parts or uh, go out the last mile to the customer and uh, have issues to be solved. Um, you see the details, the technical details on that slide, but I'm sure you can look at that in detail later. It's a, a little bit larger than other fridges that we see. Uh, so our fridge has a size of 140 liters. And of course, uh, we keep it uh, compliant to all the regulations, which you can see in the uh, quality section here. Uh, the en daily energy consumption is fairly low. Of course, it depends on the ambient temperature. We have as a reference point 32 degrees, and you see it's uh, 0 .0, uh, 0 0.348 kilowatt hours per day. Uh, next, uh, next slide, please. Um, we are present in uh, with distributors already in. Uh, several parts of Africa, Southeast Asia, and uh, to some extent in South America. Of course, we're looking to extend our distributor network, uh, so we're happy to get any further requests. Um, our support services include, of course, demo kits and uh, packages for installation guides and everything. Even though installation is fairly simple, you just plug in a solar module, and that's basically all you have to do. As I said, uh, it's uh, very maintenance free or maintenance low. Uh, we do have a pay integration simple, a simple pay integration system, uh, which enables any standard pay G system to be connected. You can also see the, the price lists uh, down there. And uh, I'm happy to answer any further questions. Please go to our website or send us an email at info@global-icetech.com. Thank you very much. Thanks, Jürgen. Feel free to also type that, that address into the- Yes, Instagram, I will. As others have done. Um, okay, so our final presenter is Mike from Sundanza. Over to you, Mike. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, and uh, thank you for uh, joining the, uh, the webinar. I just want to give kind of an update on on Sundancer. Many of you uh, uh, know Sundancer. Uh, we've been uh, working in off-grid refrigeration for over 20 years. Uh, Three-time Global Leap winner, two-time finalist. 
and uh, we focus on two product lines. One is a uh, uh, productive use and the other is medical. And so I'm just gonna speak to the productive use and uh, the metal, medical products, uh, the WHO certified products are um, a separate uh, uh, business line of ours. Uh, Sundance has always had a reputation of being a high quality and a technology leader, uh, but we haven't had it. Uh, we've also been known for high prices. Uh, so what's new with Sundancer is now we're moving manufacturing from the U.S. and Europe to China. So we're introducing uh, new low-cost products that are specifically targeting productive use applications in developing countries. Uh, with that, we're uh, we're now also uh, seeking uh, uh, in-country distributors, uh, uh, primarily in Africa, but also in other uh, developing countries around, around the world. Another uh, distinct aspect of these uh, new products that we're uh, uh, bringing online is uh, that uh, they could be purchased standalone or as a complete uh, PG system. So we've, uh, we've partnered with a, a solar home manufacturer, Zimpertech, out of Germany, and uh, modified their uh, electronics to, uh, uh, to support our fridges. So for example, our, our fridges can be uh, turned off in, in the evening uh, and allow other loads uh, to uh, operate in the evening and not, and, uh, not uh, wear down the battery. Uh, in the past, and we still do direct drive uh, refrigeration, that's available. But now we're focusing primarily on uh, uh, hybrid solutions uh, with, uh, with the battery and controller. And uh, the, uh, uh, as a complete system, it's uh, uh, PG enabled, uh, either through Angaza, um, Solaris, or Zimpertech ha has their own proprietary uh, PG system. So I think this is a, a new direction that we're going with low cost and complete systems. Uh, next slide, please. So I wanna, uh, these are three of the solutions that uh, are um, not, uh, not quite available yet, but uh, coming online. And one is, uh, uh, at the low end, we have a 100 liter uh, chest style fridge. Uh, we're anticipating it's gonna be about $225 FOB China. Uh, and that's, uh, uh, the price point is low enough that we even see that uh, being used as a domestic fridge, uh, as well as for uh, productive use applications. Uh, and again, the availability of this is uh, toward the end of uh, uh, this year. The 165 liter, it's a, uh, it's a past Global Leap winner. Uh, it was uh, designed as a, uh, as a milk cooler and direct drive. Uh, we've, uh, we're powering it now with a battery and uh, a, a controller. Uh, the difference is, is this is gonna be manufactured in China and it's gonna bring the price way down. So it's a, uh, it's kind of taking a, um, a well-established uh, quality fridge, and, but uh, the price is uh, coming down through uh, uh, manufacturing again in China. Uh, your 20-second warning, Mike. Okay, thank you. And the last product is an ice maker, uh, again made in China, and this is uh, really targeting fishing communities uh, where it's a, uh, can uh, make up to, I think it's uh, 36 kilograms of ice uh, per day, and that ice can be sold or put in coolers or vacuum uh, insulated coolers uh, for domestic or productive use. And again, uh, that's targeting uh, uh, artisanal fishing communities. Okay, Mike, I'm gonna have to stop you there. Thank you very much. Thank um, you. So uh, next slide, please. Q 
Q&A. So we don't have long. We've got about 10 minutes for Q&A. Thank you so much for the great questions that have come in. And thank you so much to the uh, speakers on the call who have not only done their great presentations, but have actually already answered a lot of the questions that have come through. So we were going to compile the questions that we couldn't answer today to share with manufacturers afterwards. But I think let's just cut out the middle person. All of these companies are clearly very open to being contacted. So please follow up with them directly. And we, again, will share consolidated contact details afterwards. Um, so just a couple of uh, questions. We've got some kind of rapid fire questions for some individual speakers. Uh, so a question for uh, Future Pump from Otte. How are you able to implement your training through COVID-19? Uh, Brian, are you able to answer that? Yes, absolutely. So no, normally our training would be on site, and obviously, and uh, we send a trainer out to spend three or four days with a distributor to go through um, sales training, technical training, help them with a the product launch and things like that. And unfortunately, at the moment, we uh, are unable to do that. So we're doing as much of that as we can remotely with some online training, some telephone training, some videos and things like that. And then we're going to catch up with the um, on-site training once COVID allows us to travel again. Thanks, Brian. I imagine that's probably true for, for most companies on the call. I would think so, yes. Um, Huck, quick question for you, which is, can a company in Nigeria request training to become your distribution partner? Absolutely. Um, and of course, yeah, the training we've had, see, we can manage around, but we are very much interested in the Nigeria market. Fantastic. Um, Tusha, question for you. Are your products meant for Kirana companies, small mom and pop shops, or do you also have bulk chilling options for farmers and FPOs? Uh, no, our, our, our products are designed more for Kirana's uh, mom and pop uh, retail outlets and small dairy outlets. Uh, we are running uh, a quick pilot in India. Uh, we'll have it done in the next 20 days on uh, modularity. So we've chained up six of our 200 liter uh, freezers to get about a one ton of storage, but that's a work in progress. Great, since you answered that so quickly, another quick one for you, which is, can your fridges work with normal household solar panels? That question's from Sintel. Um Yeah, I think well, uh, it, it would work with most solar panels, polycrystalline, uh, monocrystalline, uh, your normal household uh, solar panels. Uh, so we can offer the appliance with uh, with the complete kit, which would be a solar charge controller, solar panels, uh, and the wiring. Or if uh, the last mile distributor has uh, such capability, we can just do the appliance. Thank you very much. Um, so a question from Central uh, again, then to the the wider uh, group, um, which is: Do any of these companies provide or facilitate startup financing? I'm not sure if any, anyone uh, on the, the, the call wants to take this question, um, but I guess more, more broadly, it would be good to shed a bit of light on, on some of the financing options that you give your uh, distribution partners. Um, so I, I think we'll just, whoever kind of jumps in first, we'll hear from you and, and, and maybe just two or, three, two or three of you if you're happy to answer that question. Well, I'll, I'll jump in quickly. Uh, uh, Sendanzer does not uh, provide any, any uh, sort of uh, startup financing. Yeah, it's the same with Future Pump as well. I, I suspect it's going to be the same with most of us. We're, uh, we're all in a very similar position. I think we can't um, offer um, any financing, but I think what you know, a lot of the companies here are doing is working very closely with different grant organizations. So making sure like the global um, LEAP program, for instance, is a big investment for everybody to do. And this is really helping then open up grants and results based financing for distributors. So we, I think this is the work we are doing and spending a lot of time and money on, on, on bringing. Um, and again, we're happy also to talk, I think, to any financiers on how the products can help support the models and finance that they're offering. So I think that's the support we can give. That's great. Thanks. Okay. Our, our, support, our support is actually, you know, we can't give like direct finance support, but uh, we always uh, make education if there are any um, 
uh, submissions, you know, going on, uh, you you can go for to, to to get some grants from from some NGOs or from from other uh, parts. Thanks, Karen, yeah. for, for adding that. I'd, I'd, I'd like to add a quick uh, quick one for me. Uh, this is Tushar. Uh, I think our refrigerators, uh, the the hundred liter refrigerator, qualifies for. Uh, uh, results-based financing, uh, and uh, I will share the link for for the results-based financing on the chat. There, are, there are a few countries. I think maybe four or five countries who uh, that the results-based financing is aimed at, and uh, I will find that and share that on the chat. It's basically a subsidy for buyers. Um, this is McKenna from uh, Efficiency for Access. Thanks to Shah for shouting out uh, results-based financing. And you can message me, anyone on the team, um, on the call, and, and I can provide more information and details of where that's, where that's at. Thanks. That's great. Thank you, McKenna. Um, I mean, I think we've had most of the companies answer that question, but if anyone else does want to answer that question, then, then jump in now. Okay. Okay, final question. Uh, do any of these companies already have operations in West Africa um, to directly support with after sales and maintenance? Is that direct, a direct operation or distributors? Direct assistance with after sales and maintenance is, is the question. Yeah, I'm out, our um, after sales and maintenance is done through the distributor network. Uh, so we train the distributors to support the product and um, and we have a number of distributors in west africa so the product's fully supported in west africa i'm not sure that's what the question was asking but that's how we operate it's it's the same uh, for for enos we have like different uh, distributors and uh, the pump is already active or uh, in, in different countries in west africa like nigeria ghana niger um, sierra leone so, um, and more co more countries are coming in now. This is uh, Jakob from Grundfos. Uh, we do have a uh, sales and service company in uh, Ghana uh, to cover Western Africa. And beside that, we also work with distributors in uh, further Western countries in Africa. Same here from Sun Culture. Um, yes, we're currently in Togo and we're looking at multiple uh, West Africa countries uh, as we speak, So, uh, but also through distributors. All right, fantastic. So thank you so much um, for all those great questions. I think that's all we've got time for now. Uh, if we can move to the final slide, Izzy. A couple of quite important things before we wrap up, including a poll from you that we um, that we want to, to run to help inform future roadshows. So if you can just hang on the line for, for three more minutes and then we'll close. Um, huge thank you again to our wonderful speakers and, and for being so open and being so willing to be contacted in, in, in follow up. Um, and thank you to the audience. We really hope this was useful. Um, the recording of this trade show and the slides will be made available in a few days. Um, you can see a poll on your screen now. We want to hear from you about what products you'd like to see in future roadshows. Um, so please tell us which product categories you'd like, uh, you'd like us to repeat this experience for. Um, you can see the results coming in. Clearly a lot of interest in ag equipment and more household appliances. We'll let that poll keep running for another 10 seconds or so. Okay, lots of demand for ag equipment. Um, please do drop in the chat anything that might be missing uh, from, from that list. Okay, we'll close that poll now. That's, um, that's really helpful. Thank you, everyone. Um, okay, we also encourage GDC members to please check out our website for special offers from manufacturers, including some of those that you heard from today. That's special offers just for GDC members. And the link is on this slide here. Um, 
We'd also like to take this opportunity to highlight another GDC webinar that we have coming up on the 15th of October focusing on gender inclusion. So you should have seen an invite already via our, our newsletter. So please do sign up for that if you're interested. That's in collaboration with Value for Women who have been supporting a number of GDC members to develop uh, gender inclusive business strategies. So very practical, um, um, tangible advice um, and insights. So that is all from us. Uh, so from all of us at the GDC and Efficiency for Access Coalition, thank you so much once again. Please let us know how useful this was. We'd really appreciate your feedback. Uh, we'll leave this poll running as, as we close. Um, and thank you very much again to our fantastic speakers. Really appreciate you taking the time to be part of this. Thank you very much.